I have the Netflix actually has all the power. This is Digital Charcuterie. Like, subscribe, ding that bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. He man is going to be uh, an old man now. He was my favorite hero growing up. I had a castle Grayskull birthday cake for one of my younger birthdays. My mom was artistic and artfully used icing to make it look like Castle Grayskull. Uh, those toys were amazing. They were a direct relationship to Star Wars because they screwed up and did not get the right to stars. Look, Mattel is going all in on their movies. We know this Barbie is coming out and is projected to make 400 gazillion dollars. That all being said, a Masters of the Universe movie, live action movie, has been in the works over at Netflix for quite some time and it kind of went stagnant. There are reports indicating that it was meant to shoot in January or February of 2024 and now that is null and void. Netflix has put an end to their live action Masters of the Universe. They are going to lose a whopping $30 million on this. It's not quite Batgirl level, but they were very far along in the process. Kyle Allen was actually selected to star as He-Man in the Masters of the Universe movie. Adam and Aaron Nee were on tap to direct the film. It was going to be a new version of He-Man, and I'm sure one that would not divide fans whatsoever. I don't know if this is a good move or a bad move. Mattel is not saying that the movie's dead. Mattel is going to keep shopping this. They're saying to other streamers, I think they wait and see how Barbie does, and I think they're going to make a push for it to be theatrical. There are two He-Man series on Netflix right now. There's the Kevin Smith He-Man Tribution, Retaliation, Revolution, Revelation, whatever. It's a revel something. And there's also that kid-friendly one, which I see figures for that at the dollar store now, which I think, to me, looks like something kids would be all in on this day and age. I don't know if they are. I don't, my, my kid's 10 months old, so I have no idea. But I wasn't a big fan of the Kevin Smith He-Man one. I really wanted to. I really tried. I, I watched the first half, and I think I watched half of the first episode of the second half and I just it just didn't hook me it could be because maybe you know I've outgrown Masters of the Universe or maybe it, it just didn't connect with me the way it did as a kid I mean I was He-Man for Halloween I had the Castle Grayskull cake and all that so I was quite obsessed with him but time has gone on not as obsessed nowadays but I would be all in on a live action He-Man I say bring it man I watched the Dolph Lundgren one Courtney Cox all those many moons ago I'd be watching it again if they redid it can you imagine them doing to Masters of the Universe what Mario Brothers did to Mario Brothers, what Illumination did to Mario Brothers. Could be fantastic. Blonde heroes were hard to come across. We had Hogwaman and we had He-Man, and that was it. All right, everyone, give me your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like and subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.